Oh, what's going on there? Yep. Need to hurry up before that lawman comes back. Go. I got places to be. What you got there, friend? Oh, back so soon? Yeah. Hey. Not so fast. Basement. I want to see what you got cooking down there. <laughs> That ain't nothing. Just a little batch of white lightning to warm the old bones. Take me down there. Now! It's, uh, it's down this way. Uh, like I say, no nothing to see really. Just a, just a little drop on the side. I'll be the judge of that. Hmm. Now, you gotta have some money stashed. Show me where the money is. I ain't gonna ask you twice. Whoa, please, stay back. Okay, okay, D don't point that at me. Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. That's better. Hey now, that, that's close enough. S stay away from me, please. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? You don't need to take it all. I've heard enough out of you. Oh, look at that. Hell of a thing, it's true. Well, would you look at this? Nice, uh, nice tall drop here. And I got, uh, got a guy on the back of my horse here. But he's not just any guy, he's a bounty hunter. Well, friend. I'm afraid it's your lucky day. You're going to get the special treatment. Any last words? I thought so. You'll be all right. Ooh. Sorry. Hmm. Whoa! Oh my god! A uh, iguana? What? Vara? Well, yeah, no joke. My god, I just found a, a green iguana. Over here? Or, oh. Yes, I need you. You're perfect. A boost. 
Uh, boosh. That was two perfects in a row. Also, sorry, my horse's butt was just in your face. Iguana. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Perfect iguana skin. Oh my goodness. As a matter of fact, I think I need that for one of my satchels. Which I've been doing off camera, by the way. Oh my god. Am I actually seeing that? Oh, he's running. What are you doing? He's a small, a small game arrow. I do have those, I think. Yes, I have two of them. Hi. Hey, yoink. Ooh, are you okay there, buddy? You okay? I don't think he's okay. Crab. Corb. Got me a corb. But I'm getting sidetracked. I need to check that for... Look at my horse over there just chilling. I want to look at that pirate ship. That is so cool. I didn't know it was over here. Look at this. This is so cool. Long time ago. Me and my mates. We used to... Chill out on Flat Iron Lake Island. Blah. Wait, I can go in it. Wait, there's a lockbox. Get the get the lockbox. Get the lockbox. There you go. What's in it? What's in it? Oh my god. This is so cool. Age Pirate Rum, I mean of course. What else could there be? Oh, I can go over there too. Is that a spool of wire? What is, what is over here? Swap. Oh! Oh my god. Your ears. Oh my god. A pirate hat! Oh my god, dude! Wow, this game is awesome. This game is actually awesome, dude. Whoa, what the hell? Ravens. I swear, ravens have been following me everywhere. Crows. This is so cool. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gamerman. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead 2. Dutch. 
Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. What in the world have you gotten us into? We're dealing with the Mafia now? Apparently this Angelo Bronte guy is Mafia. Maybe Cartel? I have no idea. There you are. Your voice ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. All of them gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll be smart. Trust me. This is the place. <coughs> Big, okay, John. I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Wrong now. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Oh, boy. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers that ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> that did a very steep woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. Huh? John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, uh, can my friend. Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket or uh, misunderstand? Of course, I know you don't want that. Huh? No, 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 no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me and with your son. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrate the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. The means they see my men across the run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, 
me step in there. Now you tell me more about my mother's. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Hmm. Yeah, so he's a mob guy, not a cartel or whatever I said. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it early. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. Yeah. We found Bronte. He got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... Braithwaite's gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. We did that. We destroyed their entire bloodline. Jesus. Their entire bloodline is destroyed. All because of us. <laughs> stupid. But it's stupidly funny, too. This way. Search the cemetery. Well, this is some big ass cemetery. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook. This is a nice place. I didn't expect anyone to rest in peace when they even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Master? Peace. One day. Maybe they're hiding in here, that's why. What the hell? Wait a minute. Okay. Moonshine? And a cigarette card. Well, thank you, John, for pointing that out. I need those cigarette cards. What else is there? What the hell's that? I can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. What's the point of this? Like, why is it glowing? That bastard better keep his word. It's you know, like a... Strange jobs, Morgan. It's this one. This one glowing, too? What does that say? It's a grave. Oh, well. Maybe I can go back. Because that thing is glowing. Remind me to go back and get that. That's probably, like, some... thing... that you can interact with. Keep it down. What happens if there's like a treasure in here somewhere? You know, I actually never given that any thought at all. If there is any place you want to bury a treasure, it'd be in the freaking cemetery. I keep hearing a dog. Hey, pupper! Pupper. Oh, he's starved, poor dude. Let's keep looking. There's a guy coughing too. And burping. You 
should get yourself home. Right? I'm beginning to think that thing that was glowing was just nothing and that they left it in here. I mean, I have to come here during the daytime, too. Oh, boy. That don't sound good. Oh, yep, that's him. What? How the hell does that work? These guys are grave robbers. They ought to have something on them, right? Oh my god, they do. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Damn! Oh, that was cool. Oh, you mother... Oh! I want to loot you. Let me loot you. There we go. John, you take care of that guy. I've done all the work so far. Yeah, these guys are looters for sure. Twenty dollars, Jesus, dude. I did not expect them having that much money on them at all. Back over. Oh no, it wasn't. I thought it was back over this way. What is that? I think there might be something in here. A bag. That don't look like a lot at all. Probably should have threw a throwing knife. With me. Shit. That wasn't our body. What the hell? Come on, John. Yeah, 
quick. Let's get back to Dutch. That was close. Got ourselves a mini score, too. That had to be at least a hundred dollars. Oh my god, it is him. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you, Mr. Bronte. Right. You know, Arthur, Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't teach. call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're. Damn, they right. spoiled him rotten. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night, then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine barn. How do you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They said he was good. Italian. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you sleepy boy. Ah. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Mr. Bronte, he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of the circus. Well, 
Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Parts. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> Boys, say thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Go be with your family. This is awesome. Mr. Morgan. How are you doing? Hell, I'm doing real good. Glad to hear it. Yep, good talking to you. Hey. Hi, Arthur. How's it all going? Okay, considering. Okay, good. All right, Arthur. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? I guess I'm fine. Okay, then. How are things? Very well. That's the spirit. Okay. Hey, I did rob a chocolate bar from one of them guys. Uh, I mean, he gave me the chocolate bar, and it was a nice gift. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah.
Alrighty, well I'm gonna end this video here, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave comments in the section below. Turn on my notifications, check out my YouTube shorts. And as always, guys, I will see you back here in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2.